Good day, everybody, and welcome to Rogue Logic 13. Today is uh, May 27th, Friday, 2022, and uh, I have a bunch of stuff going on today, so I'm going to keep this first part short. Um, I'm going to follow up with uh, trying to find Oliver Wolcott's uh, grave up at the East Cemetery in Litchfield. I am going to the uh, Social Security office in person to try to follow up with what I couldn't do on the phone because they hung up on me yesterday. And uh, I think I'd like to put in a small bit about uh, spam callers, which uh, I hope to expand upon very soon because um, unfortunately they called my cell phone, which I couldn't record. But uh, for a few, uh, about 15 minutes this morning, I was Jeremiah. Tidsbury, and they just kept buying it. And my point is, and I'm sure that's a horrible accent if you really like English, but um, for me it worked, and it, it, it got them on the phone and for about 15 minutes trying to scam old people out of their money. And uh, what I'm going to attempt to do is uh, get them to call the house phone so that I could actually start recording some of these things. Um, I've seen some other people... Uh, who've got some great things going on where they are technologically actually pretty advanced and able to tap right into their um, uh, the uh, cameras on their uh, computer monitors, which really scared some of them. So it's pretty good stuff. So I'm going to leave it at that, and uh, I will uh, continue soon. Hey, everyone. I'm just pulling into the East Cemetery uh of Litchfield, the entrance, and um, I'm going to make that attempt to find Oliver Wolcott's grave today. Um, I was not successful last time, so I think I'm just going to drive up to where I believe it is. So when you enter the cemetery, you just keep to the left and uh, just keep going on. There's a there are maps, as I said in my er earlier uh, video, so you could check the map out, although I don't believe that was on the map, but I'm going to follow this road all the way to the left. This is where I was last time with the town, T-O-W-N-E, and uh, again, I'm ending up at where it looks like that is a utility shed and I'm gonna go up this road I don't know where this goes so we're gonna find out but stay to the left and keep following the road it's a lot of turns actually should be filming because there's a lot of really really beautiful uh... oh there's some creature just went across the road I think it's a cat no it is a black squirrel, which is pretty cool, and I really would like to get him on a... There he is, uh, right there, and uh, wow, that's really cool, and there he goes. So this is another part of the cemetery that I didn't drive up to before, and as you can see, it has lot of really interesting graves and I am gonna do a couple more parts in this series because um, I know that uh, with doing a bit of research that there were actually three founding fathers of the United States in here so this is kind of like uh, I see now I remember it being on the left up here so that's where I'm going to look. The road is going to the left. Sorry, I am watching the road, so I don't want to. But as you can see, even the uh, surrounding areas are really, really just a great place to go for a walk. Um, and here we go. I'm gonna switch over to this side. And <sighs> it's really odd that it isn't as I remember it was, but um, either way, this is a little more exposure to more of the cemetery, and uh, trying to, wow, it really actually expands a lot further out than I knew. 
I didn't remember that it went this far. Um, okay, we've got some stuff over there. And this gate looks to be closed, so I am going to have to turn around. Um, yeah, there's a turnaround here. I'm going to... Yeah, that's someone's yard, so I'm going to leave that alone. But you can see there's another exit here, which is a pretty cool little uh, gate there. And um, that's closed, so I'm going to just turn around. And uh, I think I'm unsuccessful again as to where that might be. So I'm going to pull over really quick. And we are going to check out those two monuments over there. So... I just want to see a little bit more of the cemetery and see what we're looking at here. This is... yeah, not even close because from what I remember Oliver Wolcott's grave had a it was really like a crypt. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop filming now so I don't go overboard and that way the video won't be too long. Alright, uh I'm gonna continue later. Okay, I've arrived at the Social Security office in Torrington, Connecticut. And uh just a couple things uh that are just good things to have on hand so you know. Uh, last time I was in here, the uh, security guard almost jumped out of his pants. And, uh, you know, I don't actually blame him because um, with the amount of uh, mass shootings, <laughs> this could be the type of place that uh, people might get frustrated. So if you do have any kind of uh, firearm, weapons, anything, a pocket knife, do take it out before you go in because uh, all state, um, any government or state building, you can't have any of that stuff on you, so don't cause yourself any problems. Uh, second, I'm not going to record in there because my point here today is to get something done. That's just gonna agitate them, and I really don't, really, I just don't wanna do that. I, I, I think I should be able to, but uh, they may even have, um, there may be even a, a law or a policy against that, so I'm not going to bother. What I do have is my most current uh, information, which obviously I'm not going to show on camera, but the last letter I received, so it has your um, case number and everything on it, so do bring that with you because it only makes it more difficult if you don't. Uh, I'm going to put my mask on as well because I believe that's uh, still mandated in Connecticut for state buildings, and I also, you know, don't want to get uh, sick. So I will be going in there now, and uh, I hope it's uh, productive, and I'll see what happens, and I'll keep you updated. All right. Hey, everyone. I'm leaving the, uh, I just left the Social Security office in uh, Torrington, Connecticut, and uh, you know what, I'm not gonna, I was in there for a while, but I'm not gonna worry about the time. And I did choose not to uh, do any uh, audio recording. Um, this, is, this is what I kind of wanted to talk about, and uh, this was so much better going in person. And uh, why, I, I haven't really mentioned it much, but the reason I call this channel, Rogue Logic. The Rogue I can explain at another time, but Logic, I think that's what people don't use very much. Now, in my video from yesterday, I was I was quite angry, but, you know, I, I didn't channel that anger into doing something illogical, and that's mostly what I like to stick to, and if I think if people did that, they would really have a lot easier time of it. So, what I, to follow up from yesterday, I went in, I did have to wait. There were a lot of people who needed help. And you know what? They actually remembered me from uh, last time I was here, which was a couple weeks ago. And um, 
uh, the security guards seemed a lot more um, relaxed, which was which was really good. I don't maybe they had an incident there last week or a couple weeks ago. I don't know. They probably have some very difficult people in there um, at times because uh, you know it's uh, there's a lot of people who go in there who are probably very frustrated and you know I'm not going to make any statements that I can't back up, but I would imagine there's a lot of people that go in there that are not all that stable either. But anyway, uh, so I don't know, maybe it was about 20 minutes or so. I sat down with a very nice uh, representative. She, uh, you know, took all my information. And what happens when you go in person is that, you know, you can explain things. They can look up your file and she did, and I, you know, I just gave her a quick background, and you know, my concerns that, you know, if if I let this go too long, it, it, it's like a double-edged sword in the sense that if you if I were to have not gone down there and I just appealed this, well, that would have slowed the whole system down again, and I, I probably would have hurt myself doing it. Now, I will say. I don't know if everything's going to go that smoothly, but um, she was going to update the bank records, which uh, in Connecticut anyway, I don't know if this is nationwide, you cannot have more than $2,000 in your collected uh, bank records or your, your uh, accounts, and I didn't. And uh, the thing that triggers it, ironically, is the... They deposit your uh, disability, and sometimes if you're over by $30 or $10 or maybe, I guess, 10 cents, it triggers it and it takes it away. So by going there in person, I learned that they're going off a bank statement from many, many months ago. So basically, it just wasn't updated. So I'm going to hope for the best. Um, my bills are piling up and my... Uh, uh, disability has not come in, so I do hope that it, it works out, but she, uh, you know, this is going to be a holiday weekend, so they're not going to be open Monday. She suggested I call them back on Thursday, which I will. The other mistake I made yesterday was the phone number that I called. Uh, you can look it up online for your local social, secur social security office, but the issue was that there's there's a number that is is the local office, and when I explain this to her, she's no, you were you were speaking with someone in Texas. So again, you're talking with someone there who really has no no record of of what you've done and where you're at or anything of that nature. So um, I got the phone number that goes directly to this office, and um, you know I'm gonna be optimistic and hope on the on the side of uh, optimism that um, next week this will be sorted out. And, of course, I will be posting a video here if it isn't. But uh, it, it doesn't seem to me that there's anything nefarious going on. And, um, you know, sometimes we can allow ourselves to think these things because of the frustration level. You know, you, you think to yourself, in my case with uh, such a serious illness that I was so far looks like I was able to, to conquer and beat. Um, you just ask yourself why this kind of stuff keeps happening and so much has gets built up and the, you just get very, uh, it, it's easy to be illogical. But um, this is the outcome. If you go and uh, handle yourself professionally and be courteous and uh, that, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to cut this off for now, and I'm going to uh, have a ending of this tonight, and I hopefully can splice it all together in a, in a good, fun way, and uh, I'll see you later. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to wrap things up for today. Uh, I had planned on uh, going back to the side that I've set up as the pre-studio and dressing and uh, sitting at a desk, but uh, it's not going to happen tonight. So it's the armchair, um, easy chair uh, for me. So um, I don't have much more to say than what I did today. Other than, um, you know, I, uh, I hope that things work out 
uh, in a in a good way of next week when I find out what uh, happens with uh, what I did today at the Social Security office. And um, I'm sorry about the um, pretty much there's a whole extra part today about the Oliver Wolcott um, uh, grave debacle because uh, I even had a friend of mine who knows right where it is tell me and um, yeah, I, I, I was in a rush. So uh, I think that will be for a time when I'm not rushing around and there will be a part four. And I think uh, down the road, I'm going to do a uh, a really in-depth um, walk around of that East Cemetery in Litchfield, Connecticut. And uh, I hope that that will uh, be a good guide for people who uh, are touring the area or who live around here and don't realize that this is right there. For them to enjoy um i think that's it other than that uh i hope everyone has a great holiday weekend and be safe and um be kind to one another whenever you can as i finish my videos with i like to say that because most of the time you can till you can't but you know try to keep it keep it together most of the time be logical and uh always be kind to our animal friends because uh that's that's what we need to do and uh take care of them because uh they can't speak and um we can so have a great night everyone peace